What's up, sports bettors? So I have three player props to win $1,500, okay? I have three player props on Underdog Fantasy to win $1,500 in profit. And we've gone through this platform a lot. And essentially, the way that Underdog Fantasy works, right, is any two-pick entry, you're getting implied odds of minus 137. But for any three-pick entry, you're getting implied odds of minus 122. So three-pick entries are very advantageous on Underdog Fantasy, which is why you'll notice nearly all of the you know bets we place on Underdog Fantasy are going to be three-pick or five-pick entries because you're getting the implied odds of minus 122. So if you're confused where these numbers come from, you know, when you're browsing odds on Odds Jam, it's free to browse, you know, odds for any game. So this is just Titans Texans, you know, player receptions. It's free to browse odds, compare the lines on Underdog Fantasy to those on the sports books. Is what you're going to notice is on Underdog Fantasy, any, you know, parlay you create, any three picks you select, you're going to get $1 to win six dollars right so it doesn't matter if you take overs unders it doesn't matter what three picks you select if we change this to another game any three pick entry any three leg parlay on underdog fantasy is one dollar to win six one dollar to win five in profit plus your one dollar stake back so essentially because any you know three pick entry or three like parlay is one dollar to win six, this is basically just giving you the implied odds of minus one twenty two. In another way you can think about that is if you have a three like parlay on a sports book where every leg is minus one twenty two, then your parlay will come out to plus five hundred odds, one dollar you're betting to win six, five in profit. So it's no different on underdog fantasy. Any three pick entry, over is under, it doesn't matter what you select, is going to be $1 to win six. So basically, for a three pick entry, they're just giving you the implied odds of minus 122. So when we're looking for sharp bets for value on underdog fantasy, we're assuming that we're getting minus 122 odds in a three pick entry, right? or a five pick entry. So three pick or five pick entries, you're getting minus 122 on underdog, which is why you almost never wanna take positive EV bets at on underdog fantasy at minus 137, right? You wanna find three picks on underdog where you're getting value at minus 122. So the first pick I ended up going with is in the Titans Texans game. I'm going with Cooks under five and a half receptions. I love this play. So we're getting it again. You should always assume for a three pick entry on underdog fantasy, you're betting at minus 122 odds, right? So I'm playing Cooks under five and a half receptions at minus 122. You can see every sports book, you know, has this like minus 160 ish. So every sports book has this as a heavy underdog, right? They have the under heavily favored. Caesars has it minus 163, Unibet minus 148, you know, FanDuel minus 138. So this is what's so fascinating about sports betting. You know, all these bookmakers price bets independently. So essentially we have one, two, three, four, five, you know, six, seven data points, seven sports books in my state of Arizona are all telling me, hey, Cooks under five and a half receptions that should be a heavy favorite. You know, the under should be heavily favored. And we're picking this up minus 122 in our underdog entry. So we're getting a ton of value. You know, so our goal is to find three picks on underdog where we're getting a ton of value at minus 122 odds, which is what you're getting in a three pick or a five pick entry. So this is the first play I'm going to go with. Cooks under five and a half receptions. Next, I ended up going with Devonta Smith under four and a half receptions. So another under, once again, every sports book has this, you know, minus 145 to minus 155 pinnacle, the sharpest sports book in the world. They have the under at minus 155. So we're getting a ton of value once again on underdog fantasy, being able to get this at minus 122 odds. 
in this bet alone has a profit margin of 2%. So you can see here this first play, Braden Cooks, um, under five and a half receptions, the profit margin's higher. But again, we need three picks on underdog fantasy for a three pick entry, or you need five picks to get minus 122 implied odds. So what I like to do is you can just like filter for underdog fantasy five pick or three pick. You know, you're getting minus 122 implied odds for a three pick or a five pick entry. So you can just filter, you know, you can filter out the other sports books if you don't want to see them. But I typically just like seeing as many as I can. Um, so I just include underdog fantasy. So the final play I ended up going with is right here. So I'll just go ahead and show you my little entry is I have Parker under two and a half receptions, Smith under four and a half receptions, Cooks under five and a half. So three unders, 250 to win 1500. You'll see on DraftKings, this parlay would only be plus 351 odds. So you'd be betting 250 to win 1.1K right? 250 to win a payout of 1.1K. Whereas on underdog, we're getting 250 to win 1.5K. So we're getting a ton of value, right? This is how as a sharp sports better, you beat the vig, you beat the juice, and you make money betting on sports long term, right? You have to look for value. You have to look for edges where you're getting a ton of value in the odds. And these three picks were all incredibly sharp. So hopefully you're able to lock them in. Let's make some money, guys.